My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, we are live this Monday evening. Y'all let me know in the chat right now if you can see us, if you can hear us, if everything went well, because we are streaming everywhere again this evening. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, X. That's a lot of things. All the places. That's and I see some Twitch places. chats coming in right now. Buttersworth already over there. We've got Kyle. We've hey, got Kyle. Brett. Looks like sound good. Sound, like, did I finally get the audio kind of right? I've been working on the audio. Been working on the audio. So we Can had to rebuild the setting us? here. Jill is in the house making it pretty. She was looking at herself in the camera a minute ago. She's like, I'm looking pretty good tonight. <laughs> And I did not agree enthusiastic no, enough. No, he did I, not. I was he trying was, to get stream set up. There were seven steps. He was mute about it. There are seven steps. He was mute. I said I agree. And then I just moved on to the seven uh, steps I got to do. It was to very set this go, uh, going live. Yeah, not he wasn't? really okay. in agreement. I apologize for not being as enthusiastic about that as I should have been. So Jill's already starting to stream a little mad at me. But, you know, all a good time. We got Manson over on X as well. Joe, Jill says. It says Jill's beautiful over Aww, on thank YouTube you, Joe. there. See, Joe says I was beautiful. I said you were beautiful, too. No, I just you didn't never say said that. Those were not your words <laughs> at all whatsoever. Okay. Patrick okay. McCracken with the first time here. Jill has set a good example. I know. Hey, we are. <sighs> We've been married for 25-plus years. We can, you know, have a little bit of a the, the back creme, and forth. The creme bruselle was pretty good there, Zachary. It was not a bad suggestion. I think they should do the old-fashioned. We should have the brusel old fashions what we should do we got i haven't seen any facebook comments come in yet y'all let me know if y'all watching over on facebook uh -huh. hopefully we got that What's right all that? That's the facebook? these are these are everybody but youtube's over there by themselves being all cool yep. and this is everybody but youtube i see tiktok southern over there we got twitch we got x i just have not seen any facebook comments but it doesn't look like there are any so uh -oh. i'm gonna i'm gonna Something test happened. this what happened? What do you mean? I don't know if I have Facebook. They're not there. Oh, I, I just posted a comment. They didn't they didn't show up. So I don't, maybe nobody's watching on Facebook tonight. It's all good. It's We're okay. going to have a good time anyway. So, uh, all right. So what are we doing this evening? Well, this past weekend on Saturday, we had our big bruisal <laughs> barrel pick blowout. What is it? Brett said, what is the one thing that makes a marriage work for 25 years putting up with Jill? I mean, TJ, LOL. Okay. All right. Brett's going to get timed out here. We're going to no. time, just go ahead and time him on outs. Can I time him off just like no, a minute? No, he's just, just for joking. Funny? Like, I know he's, I know like he's, he's joking. Up with you. I just, I just thought it'd be funny if I could time him out for like a minute. Post some comments over on Facebook for me, Kyle. I don't, I'm not seeing any. I well, I'm going to tell you, Brett, any. if he didn't have such pretty eyes and a cute smile. Is that what it is? And can make me laugh, he'd be in trouble. Is that what like, gets Real me? big trouble. That's what gets real, me. Yeah, he'd be in real <laughs> big trouble. Oh, uh, well, you know, you got to have something going for you. Well, that was three things. I, I see some comments now. Oh. There they're coming in. Josh Miller. So anybody's before Josh's didn't see it. Sorry about that. three things you had going for you. Three things? Yeah. Is that what it takes? Three whole things? That's all. If you've got those three things, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else right. <laughs> Just halfway, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Jonathan with the $2 Super Chat. Appreciate the support, Jonathan. Sip it on my $17.92 bottle and bond store pick in mm. Florida. Nice. We're going to have to get us a $17.92 pick at some point. I wish we little were in little Barton juice. You wish we were in Florida? That's what Jill got out of there. She didn't think yeah, that I man sipping good whiskey. Yeah, I the rest of it, but in She's Florida. She's like, mm, we'll drink anything if you just take me to Florida. Not anything. I mean, not anything. But, but mostly. Some things. Some things. Ooh, now we got two Facebook chats coming in. We see every one of them double. We just double. we just have to deal with it. Have to deal with it. But it seems like the um, even the super chat thing where everything's working. Woo -woo. Like I just if if all we got are doubled up Facebook chats, I will live with that. We will somehow see, survive that one. Les is my best friend. Him and Miss Linda. Him and Miss Linda. Yeah, Linda and Les, my best friends. He said Disney vacation. No, 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 no. Uh, I found a new place in Disney. By the way, if anybody's interested, I haven't been there yet, but I'm going. Um, darn it. I forgot that. Evermore. It's called Evermore. 
It's, it's, like called, this, it's called Nevermore. No, it's called Evermore. Which is how often we should go to Disney. It's apparently some big, huge thing they just opened that is a vacation rental spot where you can rent, um, like, vacation homes and, like, little condos and cottages mm -hmm. and things. And there's also a Hilton there. Okay. And it's, like, a bunch of acres. I don't even know how many. I saw it on Kyle's um, YouTube the other day. My favorite Disney YouTuber, Kyle Palo. Shout out. I don't know if anybody watches him. But anyway, um, I saw he went there, and it was beautiful. That place is gorgeous. So if you're going to Orlando and you want to stay kind of out of Disney and you don't really want to stay in the Disney property, but you want to be close, it's like a mile from Disney. It's got everything you could ever want there. It's really cool. Jill's trying to make this a Disney channel, and Will's trying to make it a golfing channel. <laughs> Uh, that's what I I'm fighting. Every I video suggestion they have no. is like, can we go to Disney? Can we golf? Look, I do not want to make this a Disney channel at all whatsoever. This is a bourbon channel. I understand exactly what this is. I am all on board with that. I just want to go to Disney and drink bourbon. Like, that's Let's all I want to do. J Mac, good evening, TJ and Jill. Watching with a brand new, newer Four Roses single barrel lot ME. Loving the channel. Appreciate the support there, J Mac. Ooh, man. Um, so we, what we're going to do today, never got finished with that, and then we got distracted there. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We have to have our five-minute monologue Disney. on Disney every show. Um, we may just have to do a Disney segment, maybe a little later in the show, just give Jill the floor. <laughs> Keep them entertained, do a Disney, and then I'll just go to the restroom or something. Okay. Um, should we make this a Disney channel for Jill in the, in the YouTube channel? Anyway, <laughs> what we're doing today, this was... The uh, John J. Bowman single barrel that we bought when we were out in Reno for that video. And the Monday stream was the distillery takeover at Old Dominic that we had last week. Awesome. So we never got to try this. So I'm going to start my palette off with this. And then I'm going to taste through every single single barrel we released to the Bruzel Club this past weekend. So on Saturday, again, big Bruzel Club single barrel blowout we had eight different barrel picks that we released to the bruzel club and five of them were our picks three were misfits we had adopted from you know some strays and we got all five of ours are gone one of the strays is gone and half the other two misfits are gone you as guys well. showed so out like y'all uh, showed oof, out we Thank you went through so some very much not to mention regular release stuff from all the distilleries we were supporting we have the best as well. family brutal family ever like the b team, b -team is amazing we were literally on we were traveling that day so we were like watching it as it was going on and i was like he was driving and i was like giving him like the feedback and it was just amazing to see what you guys did that was so, like, amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, Patriot, missed that super chat. Watching from Savannah, Georgia, sipping on some Fiddler Toasted High Rye. Appreciate the support there. And then late and sharp. Love the content. Disney and bourbon sounds fun. Why are y'all supposed you, to be see? on my side no. with this? Like, Man. Why we got to have sides, side. baby? We should just, like, we should just, like, go together mm. in this. Bourbon, Disney, mm. travel, bourbon, like, you know. Lynn says you got booted out of YouTube. I don't know why you would get booted out of YouTube. Oh, that smells good. What is, oh, have I really had good. this? You want to try mine? Yeah. Or you want a full pour? All right, go Just for it. Mine. Go for it. Help yourself. I don't think you've had this. Now, this is distilled by Buffalo Trace, supposedly, and then it's taken down to Virginia, redistilled, and aged in Virginia. Okay. I what hope is it? This is not controversial at all. Why would you have to redistill it? I, I'm just I, think, I don't know. I'm, I, I think, I'm guessing, I'm not sure. I believe um, they use a column steel and they want a little more pot steel flavor on it. Gotcha. Um, but lots of times whiskey is distilled multiple times. Lots of, you know, you do a stripping, you do it like a stripping run to just kind of distill it down a little bit and then you redistill it into your spirits run. So I'm not sure if it's just a stripping run and they ship it to condense it down, right? Um, I, I don't know a whole lot about Bowman. Into BBQ, sipping on a foolproof and looking forward to my short barrel green river. Nice. Ooh. We're going to go over those here in just a second. Looking forward to those. Craig, Craigery doesn't like the Disney and bourbon. Craigery's on my side. 
Gregory. Gregory. I'm on Facebook. All right, Gregory. We don't want to hear that. Yeah. He wants to hear that. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I MLSI representing Alabama over on what is Twitter. That? What is that smell? Whiskey. No. It does not have an overwhelming alcohol smell to it. So, okay. like, it's, you know what? Oh, my gosh. It's like a, um, what is that? Like a, uh, it's grape. Okay. It's grape. A um, little bit. Is it a knee high or a grape? Oh, no, it's a grape, like, um, oh, what is that thing called? I don't know. You're getting a lot more grape than I am if we're going that far. I'm getting a lot of grape. Yeah. Jill's graping out. I was just going to warm my palate up, wash that pizza down a little bit before we got on these barrel picks. That's what I was going for. Oh, uh, a Laffy Taffy. Georgia. It's a grape Laffy Taffy okay. smell. That's what I get. All righty. It's definitely, um, it's definitely sweet fruit. I can see Jolly I mean, I, Rancher. I see where you could get a little grape on that. Yeah, Jolly Rancher. Could be, I mean, maybe green apple, grapey green apple. I don't know. It's delicious, though. It is really it's good. It's a really good bottle, for sure. Some spice to it, for sure. Found a bottle of Blanton's for it's a great really price. Great. Nice, Thomas. Enjoy that. John Shank over there says, a great, great candy for sure. For sure. Like, it's like a great Laffy Taffy. Okay. I just you know. smell pepperoni pizza at this point. <laughs> mm. You had pepperoni instead of cheese? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Probably ruined my palate, but um, these I think this might be the first. I don't know if it's the first one I've ever had, John J. Bowman Single Barrel. Mm -hmm. It is the first one I've had in quite some time, for sure. Hey, so. Kellish. Kelly in the chats. Kelly, Kellish in the chat. That's um, where Jill's been all afternoon instead of helping me clean up around here. Uh, uh, Kellish, I would say no. Not not currently. No. Answer to your question, not yet. We'll see <laughs> as they go on through the night. But this one, no. Buck, sipping on Old Forster King Ranch. Cheers from Livingston, Louisiana. Appreciate the support, Buck. Thanks for joining. Lee Summit, Montana in the house over on Facebook. Man, we got folks from all over that the is, place. How many people great. we got on? Like, Facebook has been popping. Like, that's why we've said we got to start streaming. 114. Aww. We're not to the 250 we do when we go to 8 o'clock, but still, solid. Jesse H. did not get a bee's knees. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We um, want everyone to get what they want. But that's just not possible sometimes. Yeah, there's only so many bottles, unfortunately. That's why we dropped eight barrel picks, though, so I everybody know, gets a chance a lot. at something. Puck it. Bowman, small batch is an awesome pour. I go through a lot of it. Matt Carver with the come check us out at Old Glory in Clarksville, Tennessee. Matt, send me a message. How far is that from Gatlinburg? I might be in your neck of the woods here pretty soon. Um, we got, let's see, somebody sent a message earlier. They were looking forward to seeing me this weekend, but I, who, was, who was that? I forget what, who that was. I don't know. Missed it. Missed it. So many messages, hard to keep up with all of them, but we will do what we can to get to as many of them as we can. See, there was some Twitch stuff. Enoch got a E.H. Taylor single barrel last Thursday in the Virginia drop. All righty. Let's get to some barrel picks. How about that? How about that? Let's start with the one that we I haven't tried glass. yet. I, I mean, I've tried them. Um, let's just get, give, them, give them all a fair shake. So give us fresh glasses. I'll wash them all again. All again. I'll watch the, like, we go through a lot of glints. I don't know if we'll have enough for all these, but maybe. I watched a bunch of them by hand right before we started this stream, so. All right, the first one is the one, I, now I tried this, but I tried the sample they gave us when we were there. So I've got a small bottle of this that I was able to try to give our tasting notes for the release. But I haven't tried it as it was bottled up and will be sent to y'all. So this is the first for me. I love this label. Like, oh, y'all can't probably see probably my favorite label ever. See the, uh, I don't know if you you might have to zoom in on it there, but it's me as a cowboy. It's the bourbon cowboy it's like, release. It's like um, urban, I don't think we have a zoom. like the urban cowboy, but like yeah. Bourbon. Let's see if I I had a zoom on this. Oh, I can I can zoom right here. Let's try this. If the audio it's like goes away, I'll come urban back. Urban cowboy, but it's TJ. Yeah, bourbon cowboy. So cool. Y'all see that? My, my, if you're <laughs> sideways on TikTok, you might see it. I love it. 
Yeah. So the Bourbon Cowboy Still Austin Tater Stickers. And I didn't go to Still Austin, so I have no You clue. have not tried this one at all, I don't nope. think. Mm -mm. Where can you buy the barrel picks? Well, um, most of these social platforms don't want us linking you to places you can buy hooch, but... If you happen to be a Bruzel Club member, which you could find out more about on our Patreon, then we could mm -hmm. uh, we could you know send you some information on that. Oh. What do you think? Oh, you got the bee's knees, blessed assassin. I'm just gonna say this smells dusty from the start. Dusty? Okay, I'm Jill's getting dusty Jill's to me. No, Jill's. My nose or her nose is a little off today. We we getting a little different. I see where you might get that. Alcoa, Tennessee in the house. Hopefully, hope to see you all this weekend at Sugarlands Distillery. Aww. Jill will not be making it, I but me and Will, there. me and Will will be at Sugarlands this weekend. I will weekend miss you guys, sure. but I will not be there this weekend. Norton, Massachusetts some, in the house. Some other things that had to be take precedence. So, so you get dust. I get a little bit of dusty. Not over, I guess not overwhelming now that I'm smelling it again, but like, like a little bit. That is better. Oh, that is else. that is better than it was in my sample. Really? Yeah. So still Austin, which one is that, Texas? Yep, Austin, Texas. Is that the one that just came out, the video that came out? That is the video that just oh, came okay. out. Okay. This was the corporate There was a lady pick. on that one. I saw her. There was a lady on okay. that one. Um, she had to do math to get her answer, which is, you know, I didn't know how that works, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's, it, it still has kind of those caramel notes and that orange peel rounded out. And it's just orange peel all the way through it the middle. It is orange. Yeah. It's a lot of orange. A lot of citrus on that one for sure, which I like. I like citrus. Hmm. What do you think? That's pretty good. Like a lot of orange. I, I will get the orange. Tons of orange. Daniel, have I tried the 13th Colony 15th anniversary? I have, yes. They sent me a sample. So I've got a sample of that to try. I haven't had a whole bottle, but I've got this much. Got it sitting right over here, as a matter of fact. We might try it here in just a little bit. We might. I don't know. We got a lot of whiskey to get through. Jill doesn't seem that enthusiastic about that one. No, I didn't say now, one. Granted, I mean, it's, it's I good. I did set her up by going with a John J. Bowman to start with. It's good. Right? I did set her up with the Bowman. And, uh, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, okay. though. Because I I like it. There's nothing that's, like, off-putting about it. But it would, it would not be my most favorite thing in the world. Okay. But there's nothing that's like, oh, that's not good. It's just. I like that pick. Major Zero, go Team Vance at Old Dominic. Major Zero was on one of the picks. I, I think it was Table Major. Two. It I was the it first was. one right here. Right? Yeah, which was Table Two. Makes no sense. I didn't name. I didn't okay. number them. I don't know why Table One. So you know that was tasted better two. the second time I tasted it. Like it yeah. was better that time. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I like it. Old Dominic was so much fun. We're gonna do a bunch of those. That for was sure. a fun. If you were there, I hope you had a great time. I had a great time. I think that was such a fun pick. We met such great people. Like, it was awesome. Oh, this one is the Wizard of Oz right here. Let's go in on a quick close-up on that one, too. It's me, my faces, but it is um, the uh, Wizard of Oz character. So this is the Wizard of OZ Tyler right here. <laughs> O'Neal, sip it on JD Barrel Proof from Kingston, Jamaica. Nice. That is so funny. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining. Mac Carter is 40 miles north of Nashville. So it shouldn't be too hard of a trip for you. What's up, Andy, over on Facebook? How you doing? Y'all let me know if you're, if you're on Twitch, if you're on, on X, or you're on TikTok. I haven't really seen any comments come through in a while on those. Make sure those are still working. Hate it if they're not, and not a lot I can do about it at this point, but uh, looks like it. Oh, see, there, there they are. There comes, there comes TikTok. You ask, and you get, is alcohol healthy in moderation? Absolutely. Yes. For sure. In moderation. Yes, it's actually good for you in moderation. Now, you get a little crazy, it'll get a little crazy. Appreciate the stars there, Raymond. Ramon. Ramon. I'm going to go with Ramon. That sounds sexier. 
All righty, this right here is the OZ Tyler. I'm just going to use same glass. You can okay. get a different one if you want to. Mm, Jeff from South Florida sipping an Eagle Rare 17. Jeff is having a, now we got some good barrel picks, but Jeff's having a better day than we're having. What's he got? Eagle Rare 17, 17 year old oh. Eagle Rare. Thomas over on YouTube is sipping some Stag Junior. Mm. See, that short barrel smells good. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he, he put, so he spelled the name again and says that is correct. And I don't, and again, don't know yeah. if it's Raymond or Ramon. I, <laughs> yeah. Like I can't, he, I think he, he put the U.S. flag, so maybe Raymond, maybe what he's going for there. But I don't know. Portsmouth, Virginia over on X. Appreciate you joining. All the barrel picks were awesome. And this one, mm. I I am just a fan of OZ Tyler. You get like what is OZ Tyler? So Green River. OZ Tyler was a distillery. Uh, okay. They changed the name to Green River. I don't know if it's when Bardstown bought them or right before Bardstown bought them. So it's Bardstown um, owns Green River, which used to be called OZ Tyler. So these barrels said OZ Tyler on them, which means they're older than Green River. They're Ooh, it's got a little good. proof to it too, though. But yeah, it's got a. It's got a, this one has a little more caramel forwardness, a little yeah. more proof to it, it feels like, anyway. Oh, yeah, 120, let's say 120, 123 proof, whereas this wow. one's 116. So you get a little more heat, a little more of that Kentucky hug, and I get just a little bit of a nuttiness on the finish. There's definitely nuttiness. Um. Feels like one of our children just fell through the floor upstairs. I think they're bringing us waters. Mm, I've got some. Being right here. good, here. Uh, you you brought. I have a little bit, but oh, <sighs> there's one of them. We have two, so you know who we have two at home. Two fifty three. Drinking some EC eighteen. Nice. Ooh. Headed to Green River in June for a charity pick. Much, we might need to do um, like an actual no. official Green River pick at some point for sure. Oh. A barrel-proof Green River, that's that's what this is. Basically, OZ Tyler, cash strength, um, obviously through short barrel. Hmm. Appreciate it, Chris. Thanks that? for joining. What is that on that one? What is it? Like a mint. Uh, yeah, you get that? I just get it kind of as a proof burn, but I see yeah. what you could call it that. It's it's a it's like a nice sweetness with a little bit of proof burn, which I, I could take as it could be it could be mint. I get mint. I think that's that is a fair note. Yes, it's kind of like a caramel orange mint with I just a hint of nuttiness really, on the if end. If I really tried, I could be really good at this. Well, why don't you really try? Why aren't you really? I'm really trying right here, Gio. I'm putting a lot of effort into this. Which <laughs> is like, if I weren't so casual about all this, I think I'd be a professional. <sighs> Nobody's asked me to be a professional. <laughs> I'm just a casual. Mm. I don't know what Cody Road I'm is. I'm a sidekick. You are you are, you are not the sidekick. You I are the am a main total act. Sidekick. Man. You are the main act. I'm just here to but introduce you. But do you not you. get mint on that? Like mm -hmm. a little bit of mint. No, I, I like I said. I think At that's a end, good call. You know, like when you're chewing like mint gum and that like aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I get on the end of this. Like, oh gosh, now the dogs are down here. Now the dogs are down here. Dogs, go back upstairs to your bed. Go. Before you start barking on the stream, can't have all that. All right, so let's move on to the next one. What are we going to do? Ooh. All right, what I need you to do is I need you to hand me two Glen Cairns. Yep, got it. And I'm going to pour you two little samples, mm -hmm. and you are going to blind them mm -hmm. and tell me which one you like best. Okay. Do I have to just turn around? That one didn't get good and clean. Put that one back. Give me another okay. one. You don't have to turn around. They, you can't tell them apart. Like, they, they look the same, so if you, you know. You just don't know which variations which. What kind of dogs? These dogs are mi mix Pit and Pyrenees, and they are named Fire and Lily. So every so, once in a while, Jill just goes out st outside and starts yelling fire, and our neighbors think something's about to burn down. Yeah, not so much in this neighborhood, but before, yes. Absolutely. They did think something was burning down. Our daughters named them Fire and Lily. They are... Some sort of pit mix. Pyrenees. And well, they're then, definitely Pyrenees. Yeah, they're definitely Pyrenees. We know the mom was a Pyrenees. And then they are mixed with a pit mix of something. We don't really know what. Here, try those two. Keep them, keep them left and right. 
and I want you to tell me which of those, these are the two toasted barrels we got, and I want you to tell me which one that you like the best. We're, I've tried these, Kyle tried these, mm -hmm. me and Kyle have a difference of opinion on which one of these is the best. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna and go Kyle's way. Me and Kyle have very similar palettes. The folks at Short Barrel agree with me. Mm. So maybe okay. y'all are just wrong. That's all I know. I'm maybe you just know wrong. what I'm most curious to know is if I align with Kyle. Okay, I'll be curious to know as well. Because me and Kyle typically in the past have had the same sort of palette. Also, me and Levi have the same sort of palette. Yep. Jacob, hey, TJ, a buddy hooked me up with my first 107, and damn if it didn't become my So you my just want me to tell you which one my, I like. Yes, pick, pick, just rank them. One and two. Didn't disappoint even after I listened to you. Caterwaul, is that a word? About it for, like, dude, it's a, it's a hitter. It's going to hit. D with the super chat. Appreciate the support there, D. Andy sipping on some Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. Have you tried Westbrook Mexican wow. Cake Bourbon? Okay. Uh, barrel style? I have not heard of this, Chris. have not heard of it. Wow. Jeremy Ledford in the chat over here. Yes, Boondoggle Bourbon Drinking Sidekick is the best job in the world. Like, you just, you show up, you're the talent. I had to get all this stream set up, clear out a room in there where, the you know, they're putting in time. Like, I did a bunch of work today. She rolled in, sat down, and said... What are you waiting on? Let's go live. Aww. And that is the best job, for sure. Um, somebody asked about Twitch partnerships. They do have re requirements. I don't know what they are. We'll figure it out someday. I just Some folks prefer that experience. We're going to try to get it more evolved. Like I'm, I've got to where I can see all the chats now. That seems to be working. But we want to like, make this a fun show for every platform. It's a little hard. So we do spend a little more effort focusing on YouTube at this point, but... It, you know, we, we do the best we can. What are you thinking? Oh, I have a definite already thinking, but I'm going to go back through it. Okay, go back through it. Give me your notes. I was laughing at the fact that you, like, when we were in Birmingham this past weekend, like, you asked me what my job was, and I'm talent. You are I, talent. Jill said I'm she's talent. talent. I like, she asked what her job title was. She said talent, talent. at Bruzel. Talent at Bruzel. Oh. Greg says, That's next, Crittenton barrel drop. So Crittenton's got approved um, in Texas where our retailer's at. He is sending me some toasted pecan. He's sending me some four grain. He's sending me a double oaked. I'm going to stop by there on my way. If we go to the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, which we're having conversations about maybe going, um, I'm going to stop by there and see what other goodies I can get. If they, sh if they arrive, Crittenton's will be in the next drop. But they're still 30 days out from having his labels approved. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping they get there in time for the next drop. Appreciate it, Dave. DJ B and join from Chicago. Give us your give us your note. Sorry, I was talking. You go. I'm gonna be quiet. Let the talent speak. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna say that they're very similar, but for me, I think I like E better because. This one is a little more bitter. So you like this one? Yeah. Because this one's a little more bitter. Which is I'm funny. I'm not really liking, I don't like bitter stuff. That one's more bitter to me. Really? Yeah. yeah by a long shot. Yeah, I don't think so. That one has a little harshness on the proof. But this one has, so both of them are toasted barrels. Mm hmm this one has a much deeper toast impact, and you get a little bit of the oakiness, like the harsh oakiness from toast sometimes on this one. It's still delicious. Don't it get me wrong. It's delicious. So me and Kyle. Don't it's know. apricot with a little harshness, but you and Kyle agree. Yep. This is the. Kyle, look at this me. This is you. supposedly the, I think they called it Booker's Distillate, I just Jim like Beam that Distillate, better. in a toast. It's got more toast impact. This one is the one that they said, and they said this is the best bottle of toast they've ever done. I would disagree. And I like it better than that, I Jimmy. would disagree. That's a good bottle. They're both good. So good. I'm not so saying good. they're not both good. They're both good. This one is more, see, me and Kyle, we're, yep. 
Peyton, excited for the picks. I was able to grab the Green River Toasted and Four Roses and the OZ Tyler. Cheers from Missouri. Hope to see it spilling. Definitely be there. And you got two great bottles. Oh, spillway. Apparently there's a little 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 controversy here on these on these toasts though. So if you got like this one was the highly desirable one because this was the one that the folks at Short Barrels like, this is out of this world. And I agree. This one, really, really good. It's no consolation prize. Like some of you will prefer this one that over mine? that one. This is the one you picked. You so if you got this one, if you got like the Jim Beam, they called it Booker's. We didn't call it Booker's, but it, it's a Jim Beam distillate. Jim Beam owns Booker's. So Jim Beam distillate um, in Four Roses. This was also in a Four Roses toasted barrel. It's good. Um, so it's it's, really it's good. good stuff for sure. Uh, what's my dream distiller to do a barrel pick from? Buffalo Trace. Give me uh, Antique 107, please. Um, BB Coolin over Daniels. on Twitch. Well, you know, let's just say sometimes dreams come true. I can't say a whole lot right now. I don't know. EZ, rank Buffalo Trace mash bill one and two products from best to worst. I, I mean, I can't do that off the top of my head. Honestly, I don't, if you're saying together, um, let's cut the BTAC out of it. What Buffalo Trace products am I going back to? Number one, Blanton Straight from the Barrel. Number two, Rock Hill Farms. Three, Blanton's Gold. Then E.H. Taylor Small Batch. You got to throw the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof maybe in there with the Blanton Straight from the Barrel. So up toward the top. Um, and so we're down to E.H. Taylor, then Blanton's maybe. What am I missing? Oh, Stag Jr.? Okay, so now I got to go back through. So I'm going to say Blanton straight from the barrel, Stag Jr., E.H. Taylor, barrel proof, and th th you can intermix those. Like, I like the high proofers. Um, then we're going to go Rock Hill Farms. Then we're going to go Blanton's Gold, then Blanton's. With E.H. E. Taylor, like, right after the Rock Hill Farms. I, that was a terrible way of doing it, but I'm trying to do it from memory, okay? Who's your allocations with the Super Chat? Appreciate the support. Weller Antique 107 is not Mash Bill 1 and 2. Um, and I cut out all the BTACs. So <laughs> what's my favorite barrel pick experience? It's hard to really rule down to one. The people who, the first people that just like rolled out the red carpet, Blue made an experience ben was, was Ben Holiday for sure. Now I love like Crittenton's and just going in the Rick House and Starlight and a lot of these um, that are just like, let's go tap some barrels and let's do some stuff. But Ben Holiday went... That, that video may come out this Friday. I'm not sure. It's coming out soon. We did it a long time ago, uh, but we were waiting until the picks come out. But now, like, the B team's so strong, the, the picks, like, we don't worry about selling the picks. Definitely not the holiday picks. Um, and they'll be in the next release is our expectation. So we're going to go ahead and release that video. That was um, a fun time. That was a very, and very then, fun time. of course, Frey Ranch. Oh, and Frey, Frey was a lot of fun, amazing. too. Yeah. Great. Great time. They didn't roll out the red carpet for us. I think that's the barrel pick experience for most people. Yeah. But we had a blast doing it, right. for sure. Really, really nice folks. But, I mean, all of them, like, none of them have been unfun, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them are just crazy. Some of them are just, but you're picking a barrel of whiskey. Like, that's They're a good day. They're all different, yeah. It's a good day. The ones I've been on, and I there's a few that I haven't been on, but, like, I've not had... A bad time at any of them. So the ones that Jill wasn't on were terrible. All of them. None of them have none been. None of them good. And it wasn't the people's fault. It was just Jill wasn't there. I wasn't there. So I, and honestly, the 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 experience at Old Dominic was unique. Oh yeah, that was sure. very unique. Um, and I really yeah. had a good time. They they have a beautiful beautiful <laughs> distillery. If you are ever in Memphis, like a hundred percent. That should be your number one thing to do in Memphis before Bill Street. Like, even before, like, going to Bill Street. Just skip Bill Street. Go to Old Dominic. It was so much fun. They have a beautiful facility. Like, amazing. Chaz got an El Jefe, the Still Austin Cash Straight Barrel Pick, and Rabbit Hole from Okeechobee. You got a great selection. We're about to try the bee's knees right here is what I've, we're going to try. Have I had... Any bee's knees. Yes, you, you got that bottle of bee's knees when we were at okay. Short Barrel the first time. So you tried it. You loved it. This is our own barrel of bee's knees. Hoosier. It was great going live with you and Jay the other night but on TikTok. Found an Eagle Rare 175 in the wild. Nice. It was fun going live with you as well. Did what we is it? That? We didn't pick that. 
I picked this. You picked it. Well, I mean, I first of all, I did not. I, I will admit, I did not pick this barrel. I went up there. I was trying a lot of barrels. We that were trying some toasted. That was before we went to the Gatlinburg. first yeah. I mean, yeah, Sugar Land yes. Distillery. Um, okay. But this was the only bee's knees they had, so we didn't uh, get a lot of choice. Yeah. But it was delicious. I did try it, but it ain't like they gave me five, and I said, I'll yeah. take that one. I, I tried it. I said, yes, bottle that up. Uh, D, thank you for thank you for being you. you. I can't read. Thank you uh, for being you. I, I, I'm the talent. Love everything. Bruzel, need a stream with TJ, Jill, and Will. When we get the new studio, we'll have room for three. So we, we may do that. Yeah. Do you have an infinity bottle going and favorite 1792? I have an infinity bottle. I just never go back to it. We're always trying something new at this point because bottles just come in every day or we're getting new barrel picks or like there's just always something new to try. So I never go back to it. And my favorite 1792, by far not even close, is the 12 year. Amy's in here. Remember Amy who? I talked to you about Amy. Amy like DM'd me on Insta I think it was Instagram. Yes. All right. Amy. And she got um oh, she got a bottle of the El Jefe, I believe. So the next distillery takeover we do. Yay! Hey Amy! Next distillery takeover we do. We're gonna have a table for just ladies. The brusal ladies. We're all like, come on, ladies, join with me. We all need a ladies pick. Amy's gonna be there. Right, Amy? We're going to be there together. And I know Linda's going to be there. Like, Bram, like Linda's going to be there. She's amazing. She's a, she's the hype lady for she's the hype. ladies' pick. Okay. She's better than me. Like, way better than me. <laughs> like, we just need, we need Linda to come join us. Ah, uh, Buck, look forward to the Spillway event. Thinking of cooking a good old jambalaya. Well, if you cook it, I'll try it. If you cook it, like it's going to be parking lot cooking. Oh, but bring it on. That's what we have planned for the spillway. Spillway is going to be awesome. So the spillway but event is going to be crazy. Again, that's going to be crazy. Y'all need. Everybody's coming. You need to come. To, like, it's going to be big. Um, we're going to have a ton of folks there. So what we're planning um, is we are going to, we're, we're maybe going to do an event the day before. We're still trying to plan it. We're still trying to coordinate a place. So that's not locked in. We have to go to Old Soul that Friday before the spillway event on April 5th. And we will have our Old Soul barrel picks, those three barrels we got, we so will good. have those bottled up. So good. Best Old Soul picks I've ever had. Yeah. And we will take the empty barrels, at least two of them, to spillway. And Friday night, we might have an event somewhere um, around Jackson. Okay, so we're still trying to nail down place and whether we can and coordinate that. It'll probably cost some money because it, like, it'll probably cost a ticket. Um, I like doing free events, but every place we talk to like requires us to buy catering from them to have that many people, and like the catering's expensive. So um, probably going to be a, you know a little bit of a pricey ticket, unfortunately. But we'll, we're still looking. Not, that's not locked in, you know that or the cost or anything. So we're looking for something a little more affordable. Um, and then the day of, we're going to bring those empty barrels in the parking lot. You bring an empty bottle or a full bottle. You bring a full bottle, a sealed, unopened bottle of bourbon. It can be double oaked. It can be finished in wood. No crazy finishes. No George Dickel. And you empty it into the barrel. And at the end of the day, we will pump you out of whatever that infinity blend is. So we're going to bring somebody two. Somebody will be there monitoring the barrel, though, right? To yeah, sure we'll just no somebody will be there dumping craziness, it. Yes. Craziness gets in there. Yes. No dickel, no, like, Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Gotcha. Somebody will be monitoring the barrel. Somebody will be pouring it in for you. You don't get gotcha. to pour it in yourself. Okay, gotcha. Yes, let this good clarification. Thank you. Um, so we're going to we're gonna do that for sure. And then Spillway's going to have, you know, a ton of barrel picks. He's going to have... I know Seth Detling's going to be there. I know Matt Crittenden's going to be there. Like, he's going to have quite a few distillers there signing bottles. He's got Toasted Pecan. He's got a lot of Crittenden's picks. He's supposedly uh, dropping at this event. Uh, you can get them autographed, and you're just going to be able to get a lot of whiskey that you can't get outside of Mississippi, Alabama. And right? I'm going to tell you, like, I've tasted apparently a lot of bourbon. Apparently. Apparently a lot of bourbon over the last year. And I'm not even going to lie. Mississippi is one of my favorite places that, like, I've tasted. Like, I, the ones that I like. Crittenden oh, and Old Soul. I love Crittenden's. I love Old Soul. Like, the ones we tasted. Like, 
We'll try this I don't one. know like their regular Old Soul stuff, but the ones we had were so good. And yes, Kyle, like, come on, Jackie, you have to come. I wasn't even thinking Jackie wasn't going to come. Like, Jackie, like you. That's you, not an option, is yeah, it? Yeah, you, you, like, yeah, come on. You have to be there. New Orleans and Biloxi in the house. If I come down to the, if I come to the New Orleans Bourbon Festival later this month, who's in the area wants to do something? Like, are y'all going to go? Is that a thing we should consider going to? Should we do some sort of event? Should we do a New Orleans Bourbon Festival Bruzel takeover? Is that what we should do? That would be a lot of fun. Barrel picks from Reno. Uh, these are not from Reno. I mean, we bought this in Reno. These were all barrel picks we released on Saturday. What is that one? That is the Bee's Knees oh right here. Gosh. This is I love that. 115.2 proof. Honey. Short barrel honey finish. Oh, I love that. This is, I think this is OZ Tyler finished in honey. I I could be wrong about that off the top of my head. I think that's what it was. Doesn't matter. It's freaking delicious finished in honey, whatever it is. That is so good. Spillway's going to be a good time for yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. We have all. We have a lot of our team coming. We're going to have a bunch of folks. We have though. a bunch. You're going to see just, I think everybody but Shred is going to make it. I don't think Shred's going to make it. I think the whole Bruzel team, for the most part, no, maybe not all of them. Cheech in the house. Cheech needed how many? Cheech, how many subs did you need? You needed like, did you make it? Did you get to your milestone, Cheech? Let me know. Y'all go sub to Cheech right now. Help me out. He's got some numbers he's trying to pump. Cheech does the late night stream on Tuesdays, so he's got a really cool vibe late night stream. If y'all are up late on Tuesdays, for sure. Um, is I thought Shred wasn't coming. Am I am I missing that? Didn't I hear that Shred I wasn't coming? I thought Shred coming? wasn't. Yeah, I thought I was thinking he was. I don't know. Seth is like what? I, Seth should know more than I. So I don't know. Eleven. Cheech needs eleven subs. Y'all knock that out for me. Cheech is our OG mod <laughs> here over on YouTube. Like he was the first. I prefer an ASW over a short barrel in the Atlanta Distillery Face Off. We're gonna be doing some stuff with ASW. The problem is, is all the ASW stuff I've had is like. French oak stay finished and things like that, which are not my jam. So um, that, but I, I'm, you know, I haven't tried the regular bourbon. We're definitely talking to them about maybe doing some stuff and doing a distillery takeover as well. Their deep fried deals over on Twitch. Uh, Dust and Die, we're definitely going to be at Sugarlands on Saturday. So if you're going to be there, we will absolutely see you. Well, he will. And we I will, will and will. Jim and will. will. It'll be TJ and yes. Will. Can't wait to get the pick. So we have gone through all of our picks. These all sold out. These were all gone in day one. Um, and so we we did a little different thing with the release. We we had limits based on your tier that you're at. And then we had open season at the end. After it got through all the tiers, you could just go back and add on as many bottles as you want, up to six, and you have to pay an additional shipping cost. And so that eliminated a lot of these. But we did have some misfits. And the misfits were barrel picks from other groups that were made available through our retailer to us. And um, because we wanted to make sure we had just enough cool barrel picks for everybody. So they sent us six samples. They gave us 10 options. They sent us six samples. And I selected three barrels that I thought were of quality to put our name on or to, to provide access to the B team. Um, so there's a poll up there. Nope. Everybody's no. Um, Nick, if you see a new edition of Jack Daniels, do you pick them up? I saw other day in the McLaren edition. I, I mean, I think that one's just a name. I think it's just a special bottle. Um, so I don't, I've seen that one. I did not pick it up. So don't always grab those best pick on Eastern shore of Maryland. Ooh, I don't know. We have to, we don't, we've never been there. What's on the Easter show? Sagamore? Is that what we're talking about? Is that, is that what we're going with here? The Sagamore pick? Get us uh, three fresh glens, Jill. We'll share on these right here. Filler artwood is good. Nice. Uh, so my chairs are deep. My chairs are the most comfortable bar stools on the planet. Yeah, like I really awesome. have set my butt in a lot of chairs and these are the best of all the chairs. Like literally we just ordered two more and then we ordered dining room chairs for upstairs that are these same chair these same bar stools made in the chairs. chairs. So these yeah. are 
Very, very nice bar stools. These are, um, I forget the name of the design, but they come from East Coast uh, Chair and Bar Stool. So they are commercial. They are expensive. They cost a ton to ship because they're heavy and they only ship them freight. Yeah. But <clears throat> worth every penny I spent on them. Wor- worth every, you know, if you're going to stay here for two hours, super comfy. You could, we have people here all the time. Now, the problem with these chairs, if I'm just being honest, is these chairs will fool you. We'll bring folks over and they'll sit here and they'll just be having drinks and having a good time. And they're like, I'm like, you, you sure you need another? They're like, yeah, I'm no, good. No. I keep going. They're fine. No problem. And then they stand up. And they realize I went too far. And they just don't realize it until they get out of that chair. Because that chair just hugs you and comforts you and makes you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And then you stand up and you're like, I'm cold and lonely. That's what happens. Um, So the best mix for Black Label, Jack Daniels, Mark? Uh, Coke. Coke. Jack and Coke, when the ratio's perfect. When the ratio's perfect, it's just like, Banana know, pudding. Like, it's like banana cream I, brulee. I'm not sure I could. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand people who say Jack and Coke is not good. I mean, like I if, it's per- if, it's, if it's good, mm. if it's perfect, if it's if the made mixture's the right, right way, if the mixture's yeah. right. Sagamore's out now, of Baltimore. Okay. We did have some Jack and Cokes in Memphis that were not good. They they were weak. They were not good. But if you make it right. A Jack and Coke is, like, where it's at. Well, tell me what you think of this Sagamore seven-year rye blend. Ooh. It's a blend single barrel. I don't know how that works. It's a barrel select, but I'm thinking it's a blend. Um, it is 110 proof, it appears. It is Sagamore Spirit Rye American Whiskey. If you read the back, it says something about blending something. I don't know. But then it's a barrel's worth of it. Prefer a higher rye build personally? Um, yeah, I haven't. I mean, I haven't had a ton from Sagamore. I've had just their ryes, and I really like them. They're very bourbon friendly. This one doesn't say that it's finished. Unless it's like says it somewhere that I haven't read. There's a bunch of small letters on the back that I don't care to read. But I, I glanced at them. I didn't see anything about it being finished. But this tastes like a finished whiskey to me, for sure. What do you think? I would say... Hmm. You it's would say, solid. Hmm. It's solid. Okay. It's like... I mean, if you don't like it, baby, say you don't like no, it. No, no, okay. I will if I don't like it. I, it's not that I don't like it. So it's a rye. Which is not everybody's thing. It's like you definitely get that kind of I mint tend rye to on like the finish. Rye, though. I think Sometimes. I tend to like rice, I, um, but I think also I like more bourbon friendly rice. Like well, this you, one, yeah. this one typically is. This has got a little more rye on it than most Sagamores I've had, but it's not like super rye forward. It's got a little dryness. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's kind of like almost. I said it was almost like a maybe a port or Cabernet finish. Blended with a rye, blended with a French oak finished rye. Like it's just kind of like you get a little of that dry oakiness of French oak. You get some sweetness of like a port wine. There's definitely And then you get just rye spice on the end, which is super complicated and interesting to me. This is not one I'm just going to sit down and have three or four pours of. But every once in a while, I will really, really love that. Oh, man. Yeah. Definitely some it's dry. Good and it's very dry. Definitely some dryness. There's dry. And that's kind of why I said it's like a French oak finish almost. Yeah. Sludge box. Evening, TJ and Jill sipping on a Thomas H. Handy I picked up in the PA lottery. That is a fantastic bottle. If it's this year's, I have not tried this year's, but I hear it's as good as last year's, and last year's was out of this world. Hmm. Okay. Somebody get rid of Richard over on Facebook for me, if you would. We are, oh, he gone. Never mind. I didn't even have to do it. Um, are any of these bottles Utazimo? Oh, my gosh. Bring him back the Utazimo, Tyler. I, like I, Utazimo. Yes, maybe not the next one. Maybe the last one of the Misfits are Utazimo. I don't, I'm not saying I mean, the Misfits are better than our picks. I don't so think these are better than our me, picks. For me, for me, so far. Okay. I would say I probably like the bee's knees best. 
Okay. Yeah, but that was the most popular one for sure. Yeah, that was I, definitely I really the most popular. I really liked one. that one. Yeah, that was that was God, super God. popular. Seth, I mean, Seth said he's multi modding. LOL. Appreciate Thank that, you. Seth. We, we're Seth. gonna have to get some Facebook mods. This one is a Yellowstone pick that we were I'm able not to. Sure have ever grab. had Yellowstone. Um, so we. But this one sold out. This was one. This was the. This that was, was the one out. that sold out. Now we didn't have but a whole barrel of that. We only had like seventy bottles, so it did sell out. Have we ever had Yellowstone? Have you I have. Yes, yeah. I, I have a couple of bottles. But of is that. that like actual Yellowstone, like Yellowstone Park? Yellowstone? No, this is made in Kentucky. Darn. Okay. Pretty sure. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Okay. All right. So nothing to do with actual Yellowstone Park. It's named after it. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite rye? Uh, of all time, the Jack Daniels Special Release Rye Turkey Hunter from 2020. If you're going to go a rye you can get these days, it's going to be the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Uh, below that, like these Sagamores are great. Um, Michter's just normal release rye is really good. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Ryes are fantastic. Favorite Sugarlands drink? So I don't have the names of all the drinks that, that we made with, the, like all the drinks we made for the channel. Half of the drinks we made from the channel were out of this world. If you go to the distillery, reject, try their old fashioned because they're they they like age their own bitters, they do all sorts of crazy things, and they've got their own old fashioned mix that they make, and then they use the roaming man. It is so freaking good. Like I love it. That's what I want them to release in a Ooh. jar as the brusel flavor. That's good. You like the Yellowstone? I like that. Yes. Wow. Yep. Wow. Okay, that's uh, to me though, that tastes wow. Similar to that OZ Tyler. Um it's you know, it's kind of it's kind of got some orange peel and some a little bit of nuttiness. Vanilla. The mouth feel might be just a little better on this one though. Like, I it get might be orange, just a little more vanilla, viscous. Nutty. My gosh, that's good. Boondoggle says Spillway has some Yellowstones as of March first. Oh, yeah, didn't they? Just, I saw on their channel, didn't they just release the Yellowstone? Maybe. I don't know. I, think I so. didn't see it. I've been busy. Bryce wants to Josh be Josh was on here earlier. Did he? Did y'all release the Yellowstone? Like, I, I thought I saw that on the Facebook page. Bry, Bryce wants me to give a shout out to his girlfriend, Tanya. So, how does that make you feel when I'm people good. want me to shout out their girlfriends? Huh? Hi, Tanya. How does it make you I'm, feel? I'm fine with how does it make? How does it make you feel, Bryce, I'm, when your girlfriend wants a shout out from me? Huh? I'm fine with that. To make you a little jealous, Bryce. You have no. no threat. No threat. Because. Okay. I'm on lockdown. You are on lockdown. All right. He's not leaving here. <laughs> Chief, did you hit why the. Why would he? I haven't had the Dragon Bee Origin Rye. Um, Chief, did you hit your number? Let me know if you hit that number. The Yellowstone is good stuff. Um, the Rabbit Hole here. Oh. High Gold. <laughs> Cask strength. Look at the look at the bottle. Kyle says that Yellowstone is made by the Bean family. Okay, well, that explains the nuttiness. So like Jim Bean, is right? It? Okay. So I, do I like Jim Bean? I yeah, might. you do. I must. Okay, I mean, if you want, mm. I can give you some serious Jim Bean here in a minute. No, 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 no. We can't do that tonight. We've had enough okay. of situations. But maybe on another stream, I could do a Jim Bean like flight, like a blind flight, because maybe I like that. Rabbit hole. Look at the, the queen here. Oh. Um, mm. This oh, is well, a she, cask strength. She's not gold. the proof queen, though. So Jim Beam, like outside of, outside of, I went to sit it down and there was no table there. <laughs> um, outside of just like normal Jim Beam, Jim Beam's really good. Like really? the Baker 7, you know, Booker stuff, it might be too far. Little Book might be too far. Um, but the okay. Baker 7, the... Lineage that we got the Baker's thirteen, like there's so don't don't bring up any Basil Hayden stuff. Um, but you know when you get some proof on it and some age on it, Jim Beam's really good. Yes, Seth, you are so correct. He would not be able to make it in the real world without me. Boy. He, like he has not had a world with me. I mean. I haven't without had a world, me, like, had a world with world, her in forever. No, yeah, thank you. His world without me is much smaller than his world with me. 
So he she's can't. saying she's saying we're both old is what she's saying. Yeah, we are both old. Please post photos of the bar. I, so deep fried deals. I will. Um, I'm going to jump into Discord for supporters only. Um, in the tonight after this stream, I'll jump over there. We'll do the audio only chat um, as we do often after these streams, and I will take a picture. Actually, I'll post a link in the general chat for everybody. So even if you're not a supporter, um, so that you can see exactly. I think it's the Gladiator. I don't know. I'll, I'll find the style and everything. I'll post exactly where I bought these bar stools. And somebody asked earlier over on YouTube, they, they said they're a 10 proof tier, but it's asking them to join on YouTube. That's YouTube memberships, completely different, different thing yeah. than the Bruzel Club. So Big the Daddy. sexual vanilla's in here, Jill. Oh my goodness. That's what I was almost, I almost broke that out a minute ago when Bryce was asking me to shout out his girlfriend. Okay, Big J Rock says that you won't leave for two reasons. What to are those two? Bourbon to move, and me. One of those is right. It better be me. That better be the reason. I mean, I'm gonna have to move all this bourbon anyway. Get it in the other room. Try that one right there. Big fan of not. Oh yeah, Knob Creek's Tim Big too, Jim. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm a yeah, big Jim. Yeah. I a, must be a really You're a small Jim Beam fan, Jill. I like, like, Knob Creek's one of my faves. Like, How do you become a member of the Bruzel Club? You can go to Patron. Go to our Patron, sign up over there, uh, and then you'll learn all about the Bruzel Club. So you got to start kind of low, and then we'll open up tiers as we go. I was just thinking of our, like, old Dominic, and we had okay. so many people come out from all yep. over, and... Yep. Such sweet people we met. Like we had people come in, and they. I was thinking of the the fact that the that um, there were like three people. I cannot remember your names, and I'm so sorry. I can't remember your names, but you were so sweet. And they brought me a sample of um, Jack Gold. Oh, okay. So good. So thank you, thank you very much. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. And then of course Linda and Les. They're like my favorite people. I love you. She's got favorite Les. people. And they brought me wine, and they hung out, and it was so much, so much fun. I had a great time. Kyle went and bottled his own Knob Creek oh, Single Barrel at Jim Bean. Kyle James went on a great Bean. trip. Jackie took him on a great trip for his. What was I don't know where they were, but they went on a trip, and they went to the um, Kentucky Bourbon Trail. We yeah. need to do that. We haven't we, done that yet. We definitely yet. need to do it. Probably, probably be next year. John Corbin Jr. over on Twitter. X, appreciate you joining. Um, the allocated stuff at Spillway, yes, it is uh, reasonable. Like he does. It's not going to be Ooh. like secondary price. Some things are a little got a little bit of a premium on them, but I like I saw no price where I was like, okay, that's just unreasonable, um, and I wouldn't expect him to do it different this year. So I think you're going to be good there. What is it? I'm just saying somebody needs to. The message that's deleted. Yep. Yep. Got it. Gone. See ya. Good job, Kyle. Want to be? Oh, there's a Tennessee whiskey trail, Jill. Did you know? Apparently, there was you like got to you got to go through charcoal filtration to get to it, though. I I was thinking when we well, in Memphis, there was some sort of trail there, like there was a Memphis trail or something. Oh, I'm sure there's trails everywhere. Okay. All right. Trial, I didn't what know did you how think many... of that? I like this. Like you see the legs on it. You see how it's running down the glass. Yeah, I like this. That is, I love that bottle. What I love this? that bottle. That's the Rabbit the Hole rabbit High Gold. Now, it's an expensive bottle. There are still probably like half of these left, like 70 <laughs> or so of them left. Um, the finish lacks a little bit, but it is, it's just a beautiful dark fruit sweetness to it. Very dark. Yeah, I like that one. Honestly, it reminded me of the Cellar Aged a little bit. Um, not, not, not saying that the flavors are exactly the same, but like dark mm. fruit sweetness, Finish drops off a cliff. Like, if the finish were there, this would be f out of this world great. Yeah. It's really good otherwise. Oh, yes, Enoch guy. I have tried the Snoop Dogg wine, and I really like the Snoop Dogg wine. So, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre saw it today, just came out with um, ready to drink gin and juice cocktails. Oh, my goodness. They got a 63 Impala on the, on the Shut label. Shut up. Yes, they do. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they do. Yeah, I really like their wine, and everyone who has sent me wine later, uh, recently, I'm going to, like, make sure I shout you out. I'm very, very appreciative of it. Um, I've gotten a lot of wine lately, and it's been amazing. 
Thank you so very much. A um, lot of great ones. Yep. What's A.A. Ron talking about? They just need gas. Yes, the what, people. The mean? people that were asking for oh. help. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Is that what they were asking for? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, this is going to be a good bottle. You're going to like that one, Alex. Have I tried St. Augustine? I have. It's been a long time. Alaska in the house. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Gladiator 825 Modern Bucket Barstool. D has got it right there. East Coast Barstools. Look for the Gladiator 825. These are the cognac color, I believe. Um, kind of that orangey brown. And they're like they're super soft. Like super soft. I don't think it's leather. I mean, it's it's much more durable than that. It's like almost some kind of like vinyl or I mean, they almost feel like rubber. Like they're just kind of bouncy and soft and spongy. James E. Pepper, I need that decanter. I passed on it at a bourbon hunt, Thomas White, and I got to try it, and I was wrong. I should have bought it. That's what I should have done. Vinyl with high-density foam. There you go. It's good stuff. What have you wanted to try but can't find? Mm. (sighs) Bottles rattling. Uh, There's not a ton because realistically, if I want to try it, somebody will let me try it at this point. Um, so I have most everything, or at least I've tried. I don't own most everything. But I've, I've pretty much been able to try everything I want to. Like, I don't look for super rare, hard-to-find stuff anymore. If I find it, that's a bonus. It's great. What I would rather find, rather than finding another allocated bottle that's impossible to find, I want to find a special release from somebody or... Um, a small distillery that's doing really cool stuff. Like, hey, that's what I want to You know try. what I want to try? What's that? And I know Grant's working on it. He's working on it. Grant's working on it. But I want to try Old Raleigh. Like, I keep seeing them on TikTok all the time. See them. I see them. I see them. I'm like, ah, oh, I want to try Old Raleigh. So, if anybody, kn- I mean, I know Grant's working on it. He'll probably get it done beforehand. But, like. So you'll just put it out there I'm now. So, like, now that's a nudge. Yeah. Like, if we're going to you know, nudge people, why don't we nudge JT Mellick? What's up with that? We've been. I don't I We've been reaching think, out to them. They haven't responded well, to anything. I mean, I just think Old Raleigh's kind of cool. I I like their their TikTok, and so I'm just interested in them. I, I don't know what it tastes like. I've never had it. I have no clue. Can, I don't know. Has anybody tried Old Raleigh? Like, anybody can, like, tell us how it tastes? Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. know. Bryce and Lynn asking about Johnny Drum over on Facebook. I like Johnny Drum. I don't love it. I mean, that's a Willet product. It's It's pretty good. Uh, not something, I think I've got a bottle somewhere and it's just not something I ever go back to. So pretty good. Um, I think I liked it a lot more than Jill liked it. Um, you tried it one day and I was like, that's ah, pretty good. And Jill's like, no. <laughs> yes, he's definitely stoned. Um, out of all the new drops, what's your number one? I got the rabbit hole. How did I do choice wise? Um, out of these three here, um, the, the thing is, is none of these barrel picks, like you didn't get a bad bottle because it wasn't one for sale. I didn't try all the special, the regular release stuff. Like I don't know anything about some of those. Um, so I can't speak to those. But out of the barrel picks, they're all exceptional bottles. Um, out of these three, I would typically go with this high gold as my favorite out of the Misfits. But the Yellowstone is just... I like the Yellowstone. The Yellowstone is the best regular daily sipper out of the Misfits for sure. I like the Yellowstone. This one is a little more special to me. Hmm. But it's also something I would just sip from time to time. Raymond says that O'Reilly is a very fancy bottle. It is a very pretty bottle. It, the bottle's fancy. I'm not fancy. sure if it's fancy. good or not, but I would like to know. I would like to find yeah. that out. Because I real I think it's almost like a, it reminds me of an old Fitz bottle, like that type of bottle. It's really pretty bottle, like. So I'm excited. Hopefully we can try it. Soon. Hopefully we can try it soon. Cameron Johnson, did I already say when the next bottle drop will be? We didn't say because we have not determined. We do have two barrel picks sitting there ready to go, but as we learned, so like last drop before this one. We dropped one barrel. Now, when we bought that barrel, we had like 300 folks in the club. When we got that barrel, we had 1,200 folks in the club. And it was very obvious that that barrel was not enough. And so this time we went all out. I was like, we're going to ball out. We're going to just like, we're going to drop all the whiskey. 
every barrel we can get our hands on that is of substantial quality, we are going to release it. We are going to flood them, and there it's going to be too much whiskey, and I'm going to be like, ha, I told you, I got you. And then y'all bought it all. And so um, y'all thirsty, and I'm pre- I, overwhelmed by the support and the thirstiness of the B team. So we want to make sure, like, it's got to be bigger now. Like, it's got to be. So what I'm thinking right now, and these are just conversations we are having, What I, an ideal world, we would have, instead of five of our picks and three misfits, we're going to go to six of our picks and two, maybe three misfits, if they're full barrels, like, just depending on what we can find. If we find something exceptional, we'll release, uh, you know, more than two. But I want six of our barrel picks. Um, so from our pick perspective, it's larger. But we've got to have them. Now, we've got two right now ready to go out the gate. We've got, and so these will be definitely in the next pick. This is the Proof Queen so Ben Holiday Soft Red Wheat. You want that one. I'm telling you, and you want that one. This one is the Bruzel Bourbon One Barrel. You want that one too, but pick. you really want the Proof Queen one. Like, you really want That's it. Yeah, that's Jill's pick. That's mine. So one. those are going to be in the drop. Now, what else so is going to be in the drop? any ladies out here, like, you, you want that one. Like, that you want that one. So let's talk about the, uh, and I'll, I'm going to try to do this from memory, and I, I'm going to be straight with y'all. It is getting so crazy, it's hard to keep up with all of them by memory, right? So we've got two barrels of Detling coming. Heard from Detling today. He's like, I've submitted all the paperwork for Texas. It's going to be at least 30 days. Honestly, he's going to get his paperwork approved, then he's got to submit labels. It's going to be 60 days. That's not going to be in time for the next drop. Like, I don't know when the next drop's going to happen. It's when we have the barrels. But I hope it's pretty soon. So not not terribly soon, but like next month. Um, and so maybe toward the end of next month. But we've got two Datlings, probably going to be a while. We have three from Crittenden's. And honestly, I might have Crittenden submit some more um, if we need them. But like we've got three from Crittenden's. we got a toasted pecan. We've got a double oaked. And we got another four grain that was so popular. That was... One of the best barrel picks we've done. Mm-hmm. We got those three coming. He's got his paperwork approved in Texas, but he's got to get his labels approved. That's going to be another 30 days. And that was from last week. That might arrive. Like, that might make it in time, and that would that would be three more barrels. Or four if I can get him to just tag on another one. Like, I'm, I'm going to try to go buy that. If I go to the, or the, to the um, New Orleans Bourbon Festival, I'm going to try to swing by there and see what else he got, see if we can get a fourth one. And that, that may be the six we drop. Um, and then we've got three Old Souls. They are bottling those on April 5th. Uh, they're already approved in Texas. So it's possible those three Old Souls make it. They're um, really good. And, and now we're not going to drop eight bo- barrels. Like, no. we're just not going to. So we'll pick and choose out of them if a bunch of them arrive. We've got four Old Dominics. Um, I think... I think the one of them, the one, the the door, the one that everybody voted on, which was the best one, unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, we're going to probably send that to the RSVP list for folks that showed up and did that pick to see yeah. if they want those bottles first. If there are any left, they'll get into the drop. But the other three um, don't have a timeline on those, but they're approved in Texas, so I assume they can get them in there moderately quickly, but I don't know if it'll be by the next drop. We picked a barrel of New Riff. Um, no timeline on that one whatsoever at this point. Um, I've got five or six samples over there, maybe seven. No, yeah, I've got seven samples of Paul Sutton over there. We could probably pick when we wanted to. Um, we've got, and then we got a whole bunch of distilleries we're talking to about doing the next picks, right? So, yeah, it feels like I've been waiting a year for these bottles too, Dragon, if you're talking yeah. about these. They had some problems. So they were approved in Texas for their normal release stuff, but not their single barrels. And they approved this label, but they never approved this label. And it just took like three months to get this label approved for us to get these bottles. So they are finally here. And uh, Someone asked, would there be a... Um Proof Queen, Jill, Tater Sticker, and yes, there will yes, be. Yes, these are not Tater Stickered, but yes, there will, will be. There will be one. I don't know if the other one will have a Tater Sticker. We need to come up with one. So we need to come up with a Tater Sticker for the other one. There's a nice 
spot on the back for There's a tater definitely sticker. definitely one for my page, But this though. one's already designed. I think it's already printed, and I think it's already at the retailer. They just didn't throw it on my bottles. Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in our barrel picks, just you know, join the Brusel patron, and we will communicate with you about the Brusel Club and how we do those picks. We don't do them in patron, but um, we do them through the Brusel Club. It's, I mean, I, the thing is, is these platforms don't really want me linking two places or sending you places. And so we got to, until we get everything worked out on our technology side, we kind of got to be a little bit cryptic, unfortunately. So join the patron and it'll be, it'll be much more apparent. Which one is mine, Mike? What is mine? Yours is the, yours the wheat. It's the soft red wheat. Yes. Huh. Contest for tater sticker designs. I mean, if you want to, yeah. Um, no, we, you know, we're not going to pay you, but if you want, you know, Maybe. I mean, honestly, we might could do, if we wanted to, I don't know if Grant's still in here, we might could do a tater sticker design contest and give them a bottle. We oh, might could yeah. do something like that. If you win the tater sticker design contest for a bottle, then maybe you get a bottle. Maybe. I really uh, can't there, wait to open this and try it again. We can try it right now if you want to. Um, I think there's a Brusel video for Detley. Yes, that has been filmed. So that should be coming out. A bottle with our winning sticker is payment enough, he says. So, Aww. paying Brusel merch, we can definitely do merch. We can definitely do a hat, a t shirt, something like that, um, for sure. Whenever you make it to Pittsburgh, check out McLaughlin Distillery. I'll have to check that out. Shouldn't a tater sticker have a Mr. Potato Head on it? No. Not always. <laughs> sometimes. No. Sometimes. Uh, you you want to try it? Sure. Okay, give me a, this is Fresh Glen kind of whiskey right here. Yeah, Jill. like you can't, yeah. This is Fresh Glen. I have a Massachusetts Old Soul single barrel. Amazing, Justin says. Oh. TikTok Live just ended? Well, I didn't end it. Oh, no. Did it just die? It just died. What's up with TikTok? They didn't like you. Due to inactivity. Oh. I guess nobody was watching. Corbin. I don't know. We're using a new setup for TikTok, and apparently it just killed it off. We Corbin, use a TikTok studio. So. Corbin Claus, I think, is, he says he's in the ICU, caring for his wife right now, and thank you for helping pass the time, Brizzle. She's got influenza A, H1N1, flu, bacterial pneumonia, and now strep. Again, thank you, Brizzle, and Jill, for helping. I am so Jeez. sorry. That That is a lot. Thank you for being there for her and... Taking care of her, and we're glad we can help at all. We just went and seen TJ's brother yesterday. We had a family situation while we were gone filming videos over the last week. And we're just so, we, we know he's been in ICU too, and so we're just so happy that he's feeling better. We love you, Shane. And we're, we, we understand, so we hope that we can help it in any way. <laughs> Those kind of things are very stressful. So, Brett, the, uh, the, yeah, the bee's knees does have me as Winnie the Pooh, for sure. I mean, I, was, I think that was your design, wasn't it? Um, so, coming to Wisconsin, dancing, go, Jay Hen, we, we may make it up there. Where some conversations have been had, for sure. Uh, lo would love to know the nerd details on your video setup. Um, sure. We're going to, when we move into the new studio, I'm going to do a breakdown of everything we're doing in there. It won't be as elaborate as I would like for it to be in there, because like I wanna, I wanna homogenize all the cameras, like get everything exactly the same. Um, but we can we can nerd. I don't want to nerd out here because we'll just run everybody else off. But it's a <laughs> moderately complicated setup, that's for sure. It is moderately complicated. Um, just streaming on just streaming on TikTok. Just to give you an example, if we're gonna let's put everybody to sleep, uh, just to stream to TikTok. I have to take my streaming rig and I have to output that um, as NDI, consume that as an NDI virtual webcam, use that virtual webcam in, um, in uh, studio, in the uh, TikTok studio. And uh, that's, how we, um, that's how we output it. Now, I don't know why it just killed us, right? I don't know why it just like, you know, kill the stream off makes no sense whatsoever, but such is life. Any chance for a Chattanooga whiskey pick? I mean, Chris, I like I'm sure we're going to do it. We're going to end up doing Chattanooga. I like it's not like I don't love the high malt, but honestly, I don't love the high malt Detling. And I went there and I bought two really interesting barrels. One I like. One is I like 
more than his normal release stuff, and I think y'all will like it. So uh, down to give it a try. All right, make sure we got some mods over on Facebook. They just seem to be blurred out for me, but like uh, we are, oof, they are gone. <laughs> a lot of bots. Random. Yeah. Random situations. See ya. <sighs> Facebook is a cesspool, man. I, I like y'all on Facebook. I really do. But like the comments, the bots, um, every time, like I some guy is like, man, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to quit following your Facebook page. Because every time I comment on your video, I get like five spam messages. And it's like, what in the world? Why is TikTok all, did TikTok fire back up? It must have. They're just, oh. There's no way. Uh, we love you, TikTok, but there's no way to keep up with what's happening right now. <laughs> no, I think that's just old. Okay. I think it's just old. I think it's just, like, wow. again, kind of a mess. Uh, Jeff, just joined the Patreon. Drink some Old Forster 1920. Nice. Thanks for hanging out with us. How do we Thank get a bruiser pick? Max, join the Patreon group. And when it comes time for a release, which I, we have not announced, I'm hoping by the end of next month we will have another release out. Our goal is every two months-ish, but like we're trying to make sure we have enough whiskey. Now, we are going out and picking barrels left and right to make sure we have enough, um, but it's like we're just having to build a stockpile, right? So um, as soon as we have access to enough barrels, we will then... Plan another one for sure. Uh, the software, these have not gone. Have these not will be been. in the next release. These have not been sold yet. So these will be in the, whatever the next release is, whenever that happens. Um, so Kevin, you could jump in at a lower tier. We had conversations today around opening up tiers that will be happening soon. So what's up, Jordan Rose? Andy picked up a holiday store pick and it's delicious. What is this? Oh, is this, oh this is just a little old thing what? called the Proof, Proof Queen, Queen Pick. Um, oh, my gosh. I think, like, I'm not sure. I'd have to look. I don't have yield on this running man. If I had to guess, 170, 180 bottles. It's my guess. I just want them all. Do you smell this? It's so good. Oh, my gosh. Again, it's got like a really nice kind of earthy oh. oakiness to it with all of that red fruit sweetness. That is delicious. We are sipping on some uh, Ben Holiday soft red wheat rickhouse proof. Um, trying I'm to find. The, I'm just going to tell you, I'm good. What's the proof I'm good on this. this? I don't know. It's a lot. No, it's probably. Oh, not it's a lot. over here on the bottom. One twenty. One nineteen point seven. One nineteen point seven. So with the Ben Holidays, oh. their normal stuff we love. Their rickhouse proof stuff even better. But the single barrel rickhouse proofs are the best Ben Holidays we've had, and we've got a few of them. Is six ninety nine too much for a store pick? Will it oh. purple top? Depends on the year, um, Holly. But I would say yes, typically. Depends on the year. So I like I've passed on ten years at like five hundred dollars. But that's what they go for. Like that's probably what you're gonna have to pay for a ten year. Now if it's younger than ten, absolutely not. Um, you can get those less. So good. So good. It it just stays with you. It like hugs you. The oh, whole it lingers. Time. It lingers for that. Like there. It hugs that, you the whole time. That whiskey has nothing where you're like, yeah, that's falling off a little bit. Nope. Like it is all there for sure. It never falls off. Those are going it's to be. It's still there. It's still going. It's still. Those are going to be very much in demand on the next pick. Which good thing we got two. That'll help it go a little further. And then we're going to try to have. If we have the Crittendons, if those make it, then everything in that drop is going to be a banger. Jerry, if Chattanooga offers a weeder oh. to pick, their taste. I haven't had their weeder. I want it to sit. I might have to try that. Might have to try that. Um, I didn't even know they had a weeder. But like, uh, you know, of course, the old souls are fantastic. I love those. That might make it. The, the old souls are going to be interesting. The Dominics are going to be interesting because that's going to be three identical barrel picks. Like they're all they all taste a little different, but it's going to be three barrels of the same thing. It's going to be interesting to see how that disperses through the club a little different. D says, you ever tried Villa Armando Rustico? No, but I would really like to. That sounds amazing. It sounds aming the way I say Rustico. Yeah, I like how you say it. It's very like, romantic. I know. I don't think I've yes. ever tried that. I yes. love red wines. Um, I had a Malbec today. It was amazing. Like, oh my gosh, me and Kellis had it. It was awesome. She cooked us some pasta. We paired it with pasta. It was amazing and awesome. And thank you, Lydian, for the key lime cake. It was awesome, too. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to ask for a seller pick. So, Sam, we're going to be back up there sometime in the summer. Um, I don't have the exact date. Grant might have the date if he's still in the chat. We're going to try to do – I want to do a bunch of barrel picks with them. Like, I want to do a full distillery takeover on a Sunday, okay. have a bunch of people up, a Ben Holiday, oh, see if we can't yeah. get a seller-aged pick. Randy with the Super Chat. If I join Patreon, now, is there a chance I can get the soft red wheat? Um so right now, all the tiers are locked. They're going to open up at some point. I don't know your odds of moving up. Like, we're not going to open it up a bunch um, because, you know, everybody bought all the bottles. So we don't want to – what we're trying to avoid is people tier jumping, right? So they just jump in at a high tier, and then they leave after they get the bottle they want. So we want to reward folks that have been around for a while, that have been supporting the channel for a while, that are in for the long haul. And so – uh, you're going to have to kind of work your way up to higher tiers. That, that's what we're locking the tiers, and we're slowly growing it as we get access to more whiskey. So we're going to add a whole nother barrel pick on the next drop is our expectation. So we're going to open up some of those tiers so people can move up and get, you know, priority access to different bottles. If you join right now, you're probably going to be at the 10 tier. Um, and so you, like, I, that's not going to make it to the 10 tier, if we're just yeah. being honest. But, but... This one's going to be there as well. I would expect one of these would hit the 20 tier, but it's going to be gone quick once it does. Um, but then the other, there are going to be four more bottles. And, dude, we're not dropping, we're not dropping any scrubs. Like, there are no, no scrubs. scrubs. There are no scrubs. Like, there are higher priority. They're like, Man. oh, my God, you can't get it anywhere else kind of bottles. But there's no scrubs. TLC, no scrubs? There, no scrubs, okay? Me and Audrey used to listen to that all the way to school. Grab me another, uh, Glenn. All We're going to try school, this All the way to school, me and Audrey would listen to that all the time. 1996, all the way our senior year. Man, yep. gosh, we listened to that. The whole way to school. Every morning. Every single morning. All the, t the whole album, the whole cassette, not album. I'm sorry, what am I saying? Al no. Cassette that you put into your car in the cassette. Boondoggle says Malbec is a full-bodied red wine that originated in France but grows mainly in Argentina. While French yes. Malbec is more savory and tart, with firm tannins and flavors of plum and leather, Argentinian Malbec is more fruit forward with and a velvety, velvety texture. It is and so velvety. Of cocoa and plum. Yes, I love Argentinian Boondoggle Malbec. Boondoggle broke it down. On he did Twitch. break it down, or broke she? He? Down. She? I'm not sure. Broke it down. It's Boondoggle. That's a he. Okay, he. Gotta be. You like, broke I, it down. That I, I, like, I don't, amazing. Like most women, not gonna be like, "What's your name?" Boondoggle sixty six. <laughs> My name Boondoggle sixty six. Yes, Ricky. What's a cassette? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's class of ninety six. That's what a cassette is. <laughs> what's your thoughts on Jack Daniel's <laughs> twice barreled Heritage Rye? Love it, Craig. That's a really good bottle. Austin had stag for the first time today. I mean, That's... yeah, we had CDs, but also we also had cassettes. Well, we had CDs, but we couldn't afford it. Like. The, here's the thing. We were poor. The CDs were expensive because <laughs> they were kind a of a new thing. They were kind of a new thing. Yeah, it might have so been you a went, CD. So you, you got the cassettes for free because nobody wanted them because they were all buying CDs, I'm not right? sure. It might have been a CD. It was a cassette. It was it was definitely not anything fancy. I'll tell you that. I, I, like I have not tried Sagamore maple syrup cask finish, Sean, unfortunately. Appreciate the support, though. I got a lot of Class of 96 in here. Look at y'all. Mm -hmm. Are we all Class of 96? Y'all are old. <laughs> Shut up. Nancy Fred in the 97. house. He was class in 97. Don't let him act like he's younger than us. All right, Nancy, you going to come? He's very, very much like a little bit younger than us. If we come do Jay Henry, you're going to do the pick with me? It's for one, one Nancy Fraley. If I come to Jay Henry, you're going to come do the pick with me. Two, Nancy Fraley, I sent you a DM on Instagram. Uh-oh. Sent you a DM on Instagram. I hadn't heard back yet, and I... Instagram might not be your platform. I don't know. And this was just like late last week. But I sent you a little DM. I'm ready to do some blending. And let's I need blend. a professional to help let's me do blend. some blending. So let's figure out what we need to do to do some fun videos, blending some stuff together. In my cup. Wicked Brew with I'll the Super Chat. Daddy. Appreciate you the support. Let's put, keep an eye out for Nancy Fraley's answer. There, You don't have to like Super Chat it. We'll try to keep an eye out for it. Thank you. Uh, thoughts of Frey Ranch Rye. Love it. Love ice? the rye. Yeah. Ice uh, water? Yes. Pour, no. pour it in my... Spider-Man. Oh, I'll just you keep your Spider-Man. Spider I keep the Spider-Man cup. I... Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys, I've had obsession lately with Starbucks water cups. Like, the kids always want Starbucks, and I don't really want to partake in a Starbucks because I don't need the calories. I don't, I'm kind of 
you know, diet and do all that stuff. So I don't like partake of the actual Starbucks, but I am obsessed with getting their venti water, ice water cup, and I just use it at home and I just refill it and refill it and refill it. And I, I drink cup? more water when I have that cup. It's the, insane. The, pla the plastic cup? Yes. I don't know why, but I literally will refill that thing 75 times and I will drink more and more and more water if I have the Starbucks cup. I don't know what it is. I like it. I don't know. It's craziness. That's what <laughs> it's it is. Craziness. It's craziness. Talking to you in Discord the other day about Rise. I tried the mixture. It was okay that I had a hard truth caramel bottle that was only Rye Love since handy. Nice. I'll have to check that out. Um, let's see. It's going all right, Ryan Kelso. Boondoggle is born in 1966 and is a guy. Chris is 94 graduate over there. Oh, 94. Yeah. Enoch guy said, speaking of Starbucks, do you want to find the state cups on your own or do you want people to send you some of the state you haven't been to yet? Um, I am like, if I've been there and I couldn't find it, I'm more than happy for people to send them to me because there's been a lot of states I've been to and we have looked and looked and looked you and need spent to a list. time and time and time. Yeah, I do. You need to create a list. Need, you need to create yeah. a list. We'll share the list. If I've we can just drop an there, Excel file and just say, here's the state you've been if into. If I've never been there, I would like to try at least to find it on my own. But if I've been there and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked, he didn't crush the ice, but it's okay. I will admit, Jill. My pick is I better. like the bourbon, but the wheat is better. Mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, Kyle, the mine's better. better. Well, I mean, it's not because it's your pick, it's better. It's just the wheater is better to it's me. It's because it's my than pick. the bourbon. You're right, it's because you picked it. It's because I know what I'm doing. Mm, Dustin class of 1989. Uh, Drew, I did not get a spot in the quarterly allocation because I don't win things, man. I got to work for them. I'm going to go stand in line. You didn't tell me to do it, so I didn't know. They do. Oh, it's fine. I didn't know. It's Sorry. fine. Kyle said his wife got Alex Sidney. So. Nice. Hopefully you get I haven't even seen. I, I think maybe tomorrow they announce. I don't know what date they announce what they're going to have, but I did not oh, get anything. Is that Mark? What's Our up, Mark, Stephen? Mark D. Mark D. That's Mark yeah, D. Yeah, hey, Mark. Because you had Mexican, Mexican Mark, Mark on the pick. pick. That's yep. what it was. That's true. Do not mess with the proof queen. All hail the proof queen. <laughs> and it, it says proof wait. queen on it right here. Y'all just this wait. tater sticker, you're going to you love the tater sticker. It's so funny. Tater sticker. Oh I wish I had it. I wish I had oh it to show. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had it to show. <gasps> um, I don't know if Shred's watching, but if you drop or well, no, nobody don't else drop has it. access. If you don't drop, drop it, it, if you no. drop it into nope. where you drop the thumbnails for this and then send me a message mm -mm. here, mm -mm. I can bring it up on the screen mm -mm. to show everybody that image right now. That's okay. Right now. That's all right. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Thoughts on Midwinter Nights Dram Act 11, Scene 8, Eric says over on Facebook. Um, I don't try them all. I don't know what the one I was that I tried lately. Like, they're all just pretty decent to me. Like, I just port finish, not my thing, and it's a blend of a bunch of, like, wine finishes. Like, they're always pretty good. I never, I, like, I've never finished a bottle of Midwinter Nights Dram. Never once. <laughs> um... Oh, so I, I read the comment, and then she super chatted it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, appreciate that. Uh, haven't checked my Instagram account in a couple of weeks, so I'll have to check it. All good. I figured I would get you. I was like, I don't know if this is the best channel, but, like, let's have a little private conversation about some crazy stuff we're trying. He's got crazy ideas. Oh, so. I'm just telling you. Crazy this is what, ideas. This is what we're, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. So here, I'll tell you all what I'm thinking right now, just in general, around content, and then y'all tell me if this is a good idea or if this is a bad idea. Because I don't know. All things are good ideas to me until I do them. Why can't we see each other? Why can't we see each other? We can't see our Well, thing. I moved it to TikTok and we had ended. So if, is that better? You want to see yeah. that right there? That's what I want Right to now? Okay. Um, Jill's got to be able to. she got to. Con I know when we build a new studio, Jill has to have a confidence monitor. Okay. Yeah. she got to be able to see herself at all times is what she got to be able it's to nice see. nice to do that. Um, let's get through the super chat right here real quick, and then I will tell you all my plans. Has there ever been a bottle that you could own that you would never open due to mm -hmm. sentimental history reasons? So we, one we have one bottle of birthday bourbon. 
um, that we are saving for 19 more years. <laughs> yep. So. Our granddaughter. Our first, we're going to drink it when, when our first granddaughter turns 21 years old. We are going to try that with her. So, we love you, Isla. Appreciate the stars She's there, She's probably Chris. asleep now. She may not be. Okay, so my, my idea, right? Here's the... Here's the state of the whiskey market, and y'all y'all can disagree with me, right? But whiskey sales just ballooned during the pandemic, and everybody invested in you know distilling more and more and more whiskey, sourcing more barrels. The cost of barrels went through the roof. Like everything got really expensive. People were popping out labels left and right, and they're like seventy, eighty dollar craft whiskeys that's just sourced whiskey, and so the problem is is now that's starting to deflate a bit. Right, the big companies are starting to shift their resources overseas, open up new markets, have places to move all this whiskey that they distilled when it's mature in four, five, six years. Um, but the small guys are going to be in trouble. Like they're, they're, a lot of them are going to be um, hurt by this significantly because they don't have the but. Like they're trying to open up new markets in the U.S. just to sell their whiskey. A lot of them don't have big sales teams, and so like. If you haven't got over that hump, it could be problematic for you moving forward the next three or four years. Uh, luckily, barrels are going to get cheaper. Hopefully, bottles get cheaper as a result of that. Um, I've already seen and hearing rumblings of distilleries slowing down production, big distilleries slowing down production. I'm hearing rumblings of barrels, you know, dropping 10, 25 percent already. Um, so you're starting to see a lot of movement in in whiskey. And I only think that's going to get worse over the next few years as all the stuff distilled during the pandemic starts to mature. And so immediately it's like, how do we help the small guys who are trying to do fun things, right? Who, who, cause the guy who sourced in a bunch of barrels and focused all of his effort on sales and, and branding probably is going to be in a better shape than the guy who spent all of his time and money in production doing true craft side of whiskey and is sitting on a ton of inventory that they can't move and they can't sell. And so it's, you know, how do we, how do we help that situation a little bit? And then how do we do it in a really fun way? Um, so one of the things I want to do is I want to eventually come out with my own brand of whiskey, but we want to, you know, we want to tell that story. We want to try to do it the, the most right way we can. Um, and so what I, how I want to start though, is I want to go to distilleries that we love that are doing cool stuff. And I want to do a collaboration bottle. So we will go to like, we've had conversations with several folks already. Um, we go to a distillery and we pick amongst their inventory and maybe, you know, they finish some of it for, maybe we do different things. Like every blend should be a unique expression, but we choose between amongst their inventory and we do a 10 barrel blend, or if, you know, if y'all really want it, maybe, maybe a bigger blend. And we release that as a drop instead of barrel picks one month for the, the, uh, Bruzel club. And so, you know, can we go to somewhere like a Crittenden's and look at his inventory, maybe have him fit, maybe do a Crittenden cigar blend. I think they're already working on one, but like do our own blend with various cool, smaller micro, ideally, um, not all of them will be micro. Some of them craft though. Um, distilleries and uh, document that process, you know, continue to focus on smaller distilleries for what we're trying to do here content wise, shine a light on stuff, you know, do barrel picks, help those folks grow their business. Um, I mean, that's, that's what we're trying, like now that we've got a platform and we've got, you know, an awesome community behind us, what's the most good we can do over the next few years with that? And that's what I feel like we can do. Um, J Jix 65 here says my cat is sitting by the TV and following my hands as I, 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 he moves I talk. his hands that's a why lot. no bottles are right in front of me okay happy You're bottle and bond day 127th anniversary Mike says so y'all let me know if that's a good idea bad idea cigar blend is dropping at the 4 or 6 event but we can do our own right Like we can, we can do our own we'll do a completely different one right Still waiting on being able to get anything Crittenden's in California. So you'll be able to get it from us here pretty soon. And once our release is over, I'm hoping you'll just be able to buy the bottle and bond from us at any point. I also think Crittenden's is working with our retailer to be able to ship his own stuff from his own website. So 
do a barrel pick with Sugarlands. Uh, we already talked about it, Dustin. Um, they're they don't have enough barrels right now of the Roaming Man Rye, which is what we would pick. Um, but it's coming. Like we've already had those conversations. So we look too young to have grandkids. Tim says we probably are. Josh Gamble in the chat. But we had kids young, so. What's up, That's Josh? That's probably why we have grandkids. Yes, we but had kids you. when we were seven. No, and now not. that we're 31, we have grandkids. We don't have kids when we're seven. That's a little, that, I'm trying to make us look young, Jim. No. We were. I went inappropriately young. You Sorry. went way inappropriately young. Like, that was crazy. <laughs> Mobile live stream bourbon RV bar tour on site at Craft Distilleries. Hey, don't put it past me. I got some dumb ideas. Um, yes, Josh, we had a great time in Memphis. Boondoggle said, I have to say, I get so educated from your breakdown of local label on Hunt. I search up the brands and see if I, if I have a source on them. Mm. I want to get out to the mother-daughter distillery in Virginia. Silverback. Silverback? We haven't. That's that Silverback, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. We haven't um, yet. Yeah. We're going to. I mean, they're on the list. Their stuff, the stuff I had from them is really young. I'm trying to give them a little bit of time yeah. just to get some older product, to be honest with you. I liked what I, I, liked what I saw. It was just young. I talk with my hands for sure. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I'm talking about there, Kyle. Exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Michter's barrel pick would be amazing. They don't do barrel picks for anybody. What kind of clout, Michter's? <laughs> what kind of clout do we have to have to get a barrel pick in this place? Huh, are there any short barrel? All, all of our picks are gone. The only picks that are left from this drop right now are the Sagamore Rye, which I really like. It's an occasional bottle, but I really like it. The Rabbit Hole High Gold Cash Strength, which is a really good bottle, but super expensive as well. I really like the Yellowstone. Yellowstone's gone, though. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, that's gone. Sorry. Uh, Lanti, really good, La Lanti one, uh, was curious, have you tried 1816 Indiana Rye? I have not. Let me know if I should. Uh, they did a barrel for charity one time, Mictors apparently did. Mm. Um, so... Um, I can, you know, get a nonprofit going real quick. Apparently, nonprofits, you could just like, you just pay yourself a bunch of money. You just, the profit, the business can't make any money, but I, all the people there yeah, can. I don't want to make any money, but I do want to do a charity. It's a joke. Thing at some point. Yes, but not necessarily a mixer's barrel for that. No. I'm bourbon matter. royalty. Well, she's the proof queen, and I'm the tater king, baby. Oh, yeah. Tater king well, I, in the house. We need. A, we need Crown? We need crowns. Yeah. We need crowns. crowns and one of those big crown royal chairs as a bar stool. Well, I found the crown royal chair. Your, like, that one was fancy. That like was they, fancy. they used to do the they used to have them, but they were less fancy. Yeah, that was I fancy. see those on Facebook, but they're always grungy. They've always been in like Everybody some dive said bar. You should have just brought it home for me. You didn't, but it okay. was not for sale. You just want me to steal it? Is that no, what you want me to do? No, I don't want you to steal it. You want me to steal this chair no. and, and put it in what were we in? We were in your car? Yeah. Yeah. How am I even getting it in there? Daniel with the super chat. One Swedish bottle of Buffalo Trace with 80 proof together with one Swedish bottle of whiskey plus Swedish treats are on the way to us. Jill, hey. love your show. Is there some Swedish fish? Is that what we're getting? Is it Swedish Thank fish? Thank you, Daniel. Are they Daniel, let me know right now. Are they Swedish fish? <laughs> I, we just, the barrel, I don't have the exact places, but our Brusel Club barrel picks just opened up to like Six countries in Europe. Did we? Oh, I was wondering, did we actually sell some? I don't know. I don't know. I, I meant to look to see if we like, sold I any. I would love but like, to know. Nobody really knew. It was like last minute we found out. So I don't know if anybody ordered or not overseas. Uh, but we I did open up. I would love to up. know if we got overseas. That'd yeah. be awesome. Clay with the super chat. Appreciate the support. And Daniel with the super chat as well. Thank you. Have had still also cash strength rye? I have not. So that was just a, that wasn't a misfit. That was a regular release. Like just a normal still Austin uh, cash strength rye, um, and I have not tried that one. But all the misfits you tried, right? Do what? You you tried all. I tried all the misfits. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those were single barrels. So I wanted to try those. Um, Clay Phillips, would you say the Ben Holiday is close to E. H. Taylor Small Batch? I mean, it's different, right? This one's a weeder. Um, I would say this is closer to a Weller Foolproof than an E. H. Taylor Small Batch, but I still don't know if that's a fair comparison, right? Like that. The Weller is like super sweet forward. This one has the sweet, but it has a good bit more oak than a Weller Foolproof to me. On as far as like quality level, I think it's it's 
Like, I think it's similar to how much I enjoy those two. I think that's similar, like the Weeder is similar to how much I would enjoy a Weller Foolproof. On the Bourbon versus an E.H. Taylor, again, this is cash strength. So that's a whole different experience, right? That E.H. Taylor is going to be 100 proof. Now, if you're talking about a barrel proof E.H. Taylor, I don't think their bourbon has the sweetness. Like Buffalo Trace is just fruit fruit forward, right? Floral forward. This one is very caramel forward. So on this bourbon, I would probably compare it it's probably a little, like, it's, it's, it's still really different, but it's probably a little closer to, like, a, a barrel strength Michter's than it would be a barrel strength um, E.H. Taylor, right? Just more caramel, which is what I get on a lot of the Michter stuff. But then you get, like, some interesting oakiness and um, the proof coming through. Take it easy, boondoggle. That's really good. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good bottle. What about Still Austin Cuban? What about it? Now, don't forget, after this stream, I'm going to jump on to the audio only or supporters only audio chat in Discord. So if you are a patron member, be sure to link your patron with Discord. You can jump over there and we will all chat. I've been dropping into just the general chat all freaking week over there. <laughs> Just hanging out. They've been playing games. I've been jumping in. They've been playing video games. They were playing poker the other night in there. Had an audio chat going. Man, I, I tell you what, I'm I'm loving Discord. What tier did oh the still Austin? Um, I don't have that number. It made it through. It was through twenty. Um, it was through. Well, so it, honestly, I would think the still Austin would have made it into the ten. It might have actually pushed into the open season so it made it through all of them i know the oz tyler was there um i know the jim beam toast was in the 10 proofs um and so i think the still loss i don't have exact numbers i know it made it through the 10 proofs um i think it might have made it to the open season where people can add on bottles like there were just so many bottles that's that's why we're doing these big drops is so everybody all the way down through any tier so what we do is like the the hundred proof tier, they can pick one of any bottle, right? Really up to six. Most of them are gonna because I mean, six is all the same shipping cost, right? After six, you have to pay an additional shipping. So that but they can pick one of each, and then we cut it in half, um, and that's of our picks. Excuse me, I hit the microphone. That's our picks. The there were no limits on the regular releases. There were no limits on the misfits. Um, so you could pick one of all of our picks, and then anything you wanted from the other stuff. And then we half that on the on the 50 proof. We're going to half it again on the 35 proof. So 35 proof is probably going to have a little bit of an expanded limit. We'll we'll see. Um, just wait for details to don't don't be all mad if I said something wrong at the end of a live stream after I've sampled 16 <laughs> bottles of whiskey. Okay, um, but and then you know 20 proof is just like priority access to them. Um, and so, but we dropped so many bottles that there should be something good all the way down. Like I'm trying to continue to increase the number of bottles so that the free tier gets some whiskey. Now you might have to be Johnny on the spot with the free tier, but I want I want like five or 10 bottles to hit the free tier. That That's ideal for us because oh, that means everybody in even a three proof tier got every bottle they possibly wanted. Because honestly, a lot of the free tier, they, they're not, you know, that, that's not what they're looking for anyway. So, and then, you know, some regular release stuff, some misfits, like they can, all that can hit the free tier. That's, you know, that, those are, some of those are available now for folks. So is IG better than Facebook? Nah, either one of those should be fine, Jerry. Either one of those, they all filter in the same place, should be the same. Um, what's Kyle, you mentioned the past streams, but does the Brusel Bar send bottles north up? So we can't send to Canada yet, but we are working on it. So we... We did open up two or three states. I know Michigan is a big point of contention for folks. And it, it, a lot of folks in Michigan are frustrated because our retailer in New York could send to Michigan and because they were complying in Michigan. Our guy in Texas, which gives us a ton of advantages, like that's what's allowed us to scale and get misfit picks and regular release stuff. And all these crazy things we're doing is, you know, partially because of the Texas retailer. So, you know, love what we're doing there. 
but they can't they can't ship to Michigan yet. But they're claiming that they will be compliant sometime this summer. So we'll have that. I've asked for Canada. They said they don't know at this point. Um, but again, I didn't expect them to open up Europe to us either. When does the app come out? I'm hoping this summer, Jake. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for you know July, but man, I gotta I gotta come up with some money. Honestly, that's just what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on budget to be able to hire. We've got some folks working on it. It's moving, but I need to like. I need to add some fuel to that fire and add some full-time folks focused on it. And the budget's not there yet, but I'm hoping next month the budget's there. It looks like the budget's going to be there next. I've been scraping some pennies together, and I'm hoping I got enough pennies. You know, the the barrel pick, if we get paid on the barrel picks, we'll make a few pennies, and we'll just, that'll be enough to start somebody working on it for a few months to try to get it knocked out. Jake says, I'll give you money. I Thank you, Jake. Thank I, you, that Jake. means it does mean a lot to us, Jake. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. Um, let's see. We got another one. Daniel, I did get that one. That was IG better than Facebook. And then Daniel, those fish are definitely not neutral. My what fish? What? I don't. I'm, I missed. I, I must have missed. I don't know. What. Daniel sending the. Um, you asked. For oh, Swedish, Swedish fish. fish. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was I was lost, Daniel. Sorry. Any chance of a hard truth pick? I mean, there's always a chance of anything. So what's hard truth? Hard truth is a whiskey. Really? What? There's a billion distilleries to you. So many. Billion. Oh my goodness. Um, I, McClub, I don't know about South Dakota. If Grant's in here, he could probably let you know. Lowell will. If you are seriously interested, if you are a computer science person, especially React native. If you are a React Native person, if you know how to write React code, join the Discord. There is a Brusel Picks channel. Post your post your res. I mean, you ain't gotta like put your whole resume. Let me know what you know how to do, and we will have some conversations. Um, like we are we are taking all the volunteers or low cost labor we can possibly get, as long as it's quality. So I've heard good things about Hard Truth. Haven't tried it yet. So or delivered to a U. P.S. Store, Jimmy says. Um, as far as like Michigan, I mean, I think you can deliver, like you could find a mule in another state, that a friend or a relative, ship it to their house, pick it up. Like there's ways. I've not tried the hard truth stuff, no. I haven't had our iron fish either. Brusel Picks or Brusel App, Chris. Like it's the Brusel, you want to be in the, I may have said Picks. Brusel App. Post it in the Brusel App channel. Sorry we've been talking about Picks for so long. <laughs> I probably messed that up. Post, post it in the app channel. Haven't had five trails. Um, haven't had it. Four grain or weeded on the hard truth. I, like I said, haven't had either of them. Is, is in Nashville, Indiana? Is there a Nashville, Is there li- seriously a Nashville, Indiana? Or are you saying they're in Nashville, but they're sourcing from MGP? Are you being clever? <laughs> or I don't know. Corpus Christi, Texas. Appreciate it. Thanks for the kind words there, Abel. Greg uh, Daniel says, Swedish fish and some Svensk. 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 Svensk Greg says, give your Texas retailer props. Who's Greg? What? Greg DJ. Oh, the Texas retailer. Longhorn um, Vista Wine and Spirits and their Longhorn uh, branch has done a great job for us. So far, and I do not know what a Svensk Beiler is, but I hope it's good. And I hope it's not some something weird. <laughs> Miracle Martinez, thanks for supporting Still Austin and Hook'em Horns. We love Still Austin. Had a great time there. Um, that was a fun pick. I know, you know, the corporate uh, thing's a little different vibe for a lot of folks, but, you know, we got to keep it a little, we can't even go PG-13 with the corporate thing. We got to... You know, but we had a lot of our um, our partners at work there. That's one of our big partners at work. They happen to be in Austin, Texas. Um, so was glad to have them there. They're a lot of fun. They just got to, they're like, we're on camera. We're drinking a bunch of whiskey. We don't want to get fired. So we got to kind of, you know, keep it between the guidelines here for what we got to do. Jill is the best. I even figured out the cryptic message. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. I am the best. Just because she speaks crazy, doesn't you are the best. I'm yes, the best? 100%. Yes, you're about to get that water spilled on you, though. Why? Hmm? Why 
time I get in the water spot on I just had to distract you, keep you from doing that. No, I got water. I don't need yours. Stop it, Thomas. Okay. Oh, Lante! Sounds like you need to come to Indiana and try all these new-ish bourbons. Hard new Truth ish. Four Grains has me wanting to to more Four Grains. I, I've been enjoying the Four, like the Crittenden's Four Grains out of this world. Like, we've we've really enjoyed those. So, um, I don't know I'll what have to try picture them. they're talking about. Do I? The Sage says, please tell me that picture is on all your barrel picks. What picture? Oh, somebody must have posted the barrel. The oh no! Somebody must have posted the. Um, did they drop? They didn't drop it in the in the uh, thing, so I can show it to everybody. Did they? Let me look. Let me look. Make sure they Please, didn't drop no. it in the in the uh, uh, no. in the Google we Drive. Don't, we don't all need to see that. Just the people who buy my bottle. That's Come the on only Google people Drive. that need to see that. Does Google Drive shut down here. <laughs> yep, it shut down. Drive. Where did Google Drive go? Mm. It is shut there it down. Is. What's that? Down. Uh, Google yep, Drive. See? Google down. Drive froze up on me. Thank you, Google ah, Drive. Lord. I was about, oh, here, let's see. Oh, there's some thumbs right there. Ah. Let's see. Bob says they just got to their room. Ben Holiday picked tomorrow. Bob! Wow. Nice. You who, get you a doing pick? A, who are you doing a pick with, Bob? That's awesome. You're going to have a blast. You're going to have a lot of fun, for sure. Ben Holiday is amazing. We're going back, what, in June? Tell Can't them wait. we said hello, Tell them we sure. said hello, and that we miss them, and we'll be there soon. How about shorter password on the picks? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Randy, our goal, this is two things I'm trying to improve. I don't think we will have them 100% done by the next drop, right? But there's two things I want to completely eliminate from this process. One thing I want to eliminate is the password. I don't want you to have to have a password. We have some ideas on how to do that, but it requires a lot more coding and testing on our part to make that work. The second thing is to eliminate emails. Like we want to send one email at the start of this. Everybody know you go to a place and when it's your time, you see what you're supposed to see. That's what we're trying to do. So we're just know this was just step one. Yeah. So that we've got the club, we can communicate. Step two, step three, you won't, there won't be a password. So we do not have a bourbon store, man. We just have a bunch of bourbon. It's weird. Copy and paste. Yeah, it, it was not it was not great. Like some folks had a little trouble. So, all right. I think we are going to call it. I'm going to jump into the Discord um, supporter chat here in just a little bit. Um, but let's see. Eric says, will the app work across the U.S.? or fo Yes. <coughs> so it should work everywhere. Um, it should work everywhere. I don't, like, we'll have to see. There might be some problems. We haven't, like, we're building it for the U.S., but it should work everywhere. And we are going to branch out into all types of whiskey. It's not just going to be bourbon. Like, you, honestly, we want vodkas and rums and tequilas and everything in there long term, although we're going to be seeding it with mostly bourbon rice, things like that. And then we'll have, I'll have some folks throwing in scotches and different stuff as well. So we're going it, to, we want it to be international for sure. But, um, we'll have to just test that and see if there's any problems with some of the technologies and APIs we're using. If those, um, that's going to be English speaking countries. I don't plan on localizing this anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, appreciate all of y'all hanging out. Had a great stream. Had good. a good no, time. It went by fast. It, it went by fast. Started wow. early. Um, helped a little bit. Y'all let me know right now in the chat before we get out of here. Did you like the seven o'clock central yeah. time? start better than the eight o'clock so that we're getting done at nine instead of 10. Does that work better for you or is that worse? Are you like, I couldn't get here too late because I'm on the West coast and you know, we, we don't get to work till 10 o'clock. So we don't leave till six. <laughs> um, love, love the seven to seven, nine seven works better. for rags over on Twitch. Appreciate it. Chris Robbins. Seven. Yep. Yep. Seven. Nathan says, go back to the later ah! time. What oh, is it? I love that. Bourbon hunt in Japan while Jill goes to Tokyo Disney. Yep. He, he said Tokyo Disney, so that's where Disney. you're going. I'm going to send you Tokyo Disney. Nope. You what you going to do? Tokyo Disney. Tokyo Disney for okay, you. Okay, seven to nine. Everybody likes Every, seven Not nine. everybody. Not everybody. You know, but for, Tim prefers the later stream. Mm. Maybe we split the difference. Maybe we just do 730. I don't know. We'll see. 
Uh, fall asleep when he goes to 10. Yeah, I understand. I get you. We'll talk about it. The thing is, with a lot of the distilleries we're going to, we want to do these distillery takeovers, and they just work better at 7. Yeah. And so it's like, well, that we did that one at 7, and then everybody's like, well, maybe we should just try 7 straight, but maybe that's better. I'll look at the metrics to see if there were more people watching for longer or anything, like see how it affect, affected the, the actual metrics, especially on YouTube. And then... Um, you know, it is late for East Coast, but then it's early for West mm. Coast. So, like, how yeah. do we want to, like, every decision we make, somebody doesn't like it. So, we'll, we'll tweak it. We'll learn. We'll but learn. if you we'll love us, you'll come, right? If you love well, I mean, us, you'll you be here. You come when you can. It, come when you we're can. Cool. Like, we understand you can't make it to everything, but we will try to make it as best as we possibly can. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all later. Good night.